This morning, President Biden's public schedule cleared after he tested positive again for COVID over the weekend. I'm feeling fine. Everything's good. Biden sidelined as Democrats move closer to passing a negotiated version of the president's core agenda this week. The so-called Inflation Reduction Act includes provisions for Medicare to negotiate prescription drug prices, sets corporate minimum tax at 15 percent, and makes historic investments in clean energy. Senator Joe Manchin, whose surprise deal with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer revived the legislation, telling ABC News the bill is about investing in America. This is all about fighting inflation and the high cost of energy and any and everything else you want to do in life. Is taking a tremendous toll. Republicans, however, are skeptical about what the major legislation could do. GOP Senator Pat Toomey on CNN calling the this bill a disaster. Worse. It's going to make inflation worse. It's not going to do any good. Concerns about the economy growing following last week's grim federal report, which shows for a second quarter in a row, U.S. gross domestic product dropped. Fears that the economy is sliding into a recession, even as inflation remains at historic highs. It's very concerning. It's not just a few categories. It's spreading out more broadly across the economy. Neil Kashari, president of the Minneapolis Federal Reserve, telling CBS even rising wages are not keeping up. The Federal Reserve has more work to do to bring inflation down, to bring the economy into balance. And Mona, back on Capitol Hill, Senate Democrats need at least 50 votes to pass the inflation bill. But it's unclear whether they have the support of Arizona Democrat Kirsten Sinema. She has not signed off yet on this bill. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.